Uh, right, I promised you an inverted L uh, on the expedition, and to be honest, this is the same. You do the same with the uh, Signature 9 as well. I've already cut 19.5 metres of wire. And the question is, how high up do we put it? Because uh, we could put it on this one, which is pretty low to the ground. But for sort of NVIS, you know, work, that might be fine. Or we could put it right up here, which is halfway up the pole. It's a bit uh, wibbly wobbly, but um, we'll be able to work it out, I'm sure. I'm thinking of coming off here with a bit of, uh, well, I'll show you. <laughs> All right, shot cord, paracord. Right, first thing, I'm just going to get the element because got a spare air slot here for the element because we've not got 30 so I'll just go and fetch that I've got to say right down at the bottom of the field here there's it's a real hazy hot day it has been for well yesterday it was bright blue sky but um, there's some big mama sheep and uh, two lambs if we keep nice and quiet we should be able to have a have a word I was about to say have a word with them Hopefully they won't run away. Oh, oh gosh, what a shame. Let's back off. Because that's a really nice spot they've got there. All right. So I've intentionally done this so it won't tangle. <laughs> <laughs> but in fairness, it's DX10, so we should be able to get away with murder. Lovely. I'll just... I'm not quite sure... Ah. It was that first. It was the fork. So we'll just walk around, lay it on the floor. 19 and a half metres. Use Google to translate that to feet and inches, if you like. But that should take you to about 3.75. I will put on the screen where I think it should be for, like, the 75 metre band. Maybe shorter, you know, 19 metres, something like that. The thing is, it's so easy to tune. Just cut a bit off, you know. Because we're coming up through here. I thought that might be an idea is to either a bit of um, heat shrink, maybe, or if you haven't got, if you've run out of heat shrink, a bit of electrical tape. Just wound round the cable a couple of times. Let me show you. Hang on. Oh, blimey. Just as well it's not 160, isn't it? I've just thought, actually, I've put this on. Will that fit over the top? It should do. Yes, it does. Good. So I'm just putting two of these over. One for each spreader that we're going past, that's all. Now, the way 40 metres is working at the moment, there's a lot of people not on 80. But in the evening, you can have a bit of fun on 80. And of course, if you wanted FT8 on 80, depending on your licence conditions, you could um, add a little bit more and get down to below 3.6, you know, uh, about there. Now, if you don't have a DX Commander, of course, you can just as easily do this in a tree, couldn't you? An inverted L. And inverted L's, I like them because you get a bit of vertical and a bit of horizontal. And as I said a couple of videos ago, I did actually cross the Atlantic on SSB. I think it was one of these, actually, an expedition, but with an inverted L. We're just stopping that coming out. Look, that's all we're doing. Same up here. And then we'll do the clever bit. Well, the bit that I've been thinking about, because I wanted an elegant solution here. So let's move this a wee bit so I can put a camera somewhere for you. 
My original solution before we had the speed slots was we just come through a hole, you see, but of course we can't do that now. It'll just come out. So what I'm thinking of doing is I will put a little loop hip about here. Just like that. Just just a single loop. And then we'll bring the short cord down to a a little stopper knot there. Good. And then we'll come up here and then over over and along. Now you read about inverted L's in books and stuff, don't you? It's not until you actually put up, let's say, a 160 metre dipole that you realise how blooming huge uh, a 40 metre leg is, for instance, and all the added weight. As soon as you start putting egg connectors in, heavy rope, things like that, the sag is intense. Now, you can go on chat GPT and say, I've got an inverted L. Um, on a DX Commander, I'm coming off at the five metre point, going along 12 and a half metres, a little bit of paracord. How much tension would I need to have less than 100 millimetres or six, uh, or six inches of droop? And you need a hell of a lot of power to pull it down, right? We're going to pull the pole over and all sorts of things. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up and then droop down nicely over to the fence over there. Uh, da -da, shot cord. This is not a deployment video, remember, we're building it so we can be nice and careful. So I'm going to come around this pole through here quite tight to there. So. Right, I think I've got there ish. And I've also think I've made this slightly too short. We'll find out. We'll go around there as hard as I can and back down. Did it? Oh no, my knot's coming undone. Well, well, okay. All right, let's review what we've done. Here's 80 meters. And I've put two little red, I've put two little red things on. We're coming up under quite a lot of tension, actually. <sighs> speed slot. Another speed slot. These have moved up a bit because <laughs> this is really tight. But that's fine. Up to five metres. A little bit of shock cord here. Up the loop. Up the slot. Round the hole. Back down the slot. All right, let's get it up then and uh, tension it. Right. So here's 80. Down to about here is fine. Whoops. You know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it there. How do we do that? Little bowline. How the hell with it? I'm just gonna do a little loop here. So I've just done um, an, a, a Shot cord here, and you can see the antenna starts at, uh, oh, oh gosh, uh, what height's that? About 1.2, 1.3 metres, about four feet, five feet off the ground, or less than that, off to the antenna. I mean, could get much easier than that, could you? Now, let's see how much twang we've got. Bearing in mind, this is not guide. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> I think that's bent over enough. <sighs> we could prop it up with a piece of timber on a temporary basis. Hang on. <laughs> wow. It still wants to do that. Oh well. Fascinating. I've always wanted to say this, by the way. In post-production, most 
um, well, and live product, audio production, we use um, a technology called compression, which you've probably heard of, which means the low, quiet parts become louder and the loud parts become softer. But what that means is, because I use quite a lot of compression because my voice is very loud sometimes and quiet other times, but when I breathe, although in real life, doesn't actually sound that much. In post-production, I haven't got an anti-breathe plug-in. So a lot of people think, oh my God, he's so unfit. But I'm not, well, I might be chubby, but I'm not unfit. The 80 meter element has come out of one of the speed slots, probably because of the bend. Let's twist it out the top. It doesn't matter, you know, on 80 at all. In fact, keep it away from the elements. I right, go in and we'll see if we've got uh, a tune on this thing. The only impact I can see, well, the, I'll just, I'm not going to do a screenshot recording with OBS. I'll just hold this. You'll be fine. Um, so <laughs> I said 3.75. So, you know, there are the SWR meters here, look. And, well, down there. It's absolutely perfect. And and that, uh, whoops, up to there. That's fine. And down to, say, 3.65. It's starting to creep up. I don't know how far. Uh, 3. Point, I mean, still, I mean, oh, heaven's alive. That's a lot of bandwidth. 3.5 and a half right up to 3.8. If you wanted that on the 75 meter band, uh, just chop a bit off it. I will put in it now, right? I'll try and tell you how much. I'll try and remember to do that. So that's fine. Now, because we've got this extra element knocking around, big long element, 40 meters, slightly gone a wall. Not a lot, but a little bit. So up at the top end of my, my top end, region one, um, Oh, what can I hear here? Who's what's going on? Nothing. I'm at 1.5, 1 1.6 to 1 SWR. Now that settles down about shut up. It settles down at about 7.7.4. So in fact, now I can um let me think about this. I need to lengthen it a little bit. So I don't know what to do about that because I had everything absolutely perfect. However, all the other bands are fine. So if we go to 20 metres, for instance, if you remember, my SWR was next to nothing and it still is. I can't remember what 17 metres was doing, but it actually was about 1.2 to 1. It's about 9.3 now. And 21, I happen to know, is the same. No, 1.4, 1.5. 12 meter band, which was perfect. I'm now out of band there. Hang on. It's just a whisker, whisker high. Oh, a lot higher. So I would need to shorten that. However, <laughs> 28, which I was going to do something about, has actually come right, right, right in to one, one to one. And that's the thing. You start adding you know, huge lengths of wire right next to all your other elements. You're going to have to go around with your tin snips and uh, and sort it out. In the main, I'm fairly happy with that. I might put up 80 and then take it back down again, you know, if I wanted to play on 80 one night, because all the other bands are, are perfect. I could make them all perfect, but if you're not going to put up 80 metres every time, frankly, I wouldn't bother. But anyway, it works. And what you haven't seen is me actually using it, right? Because it could be a dummy load on the other end, but plenty of people who used it. And when we're in Cornwall, a couple of days time, we'll put it up in one night. We'll call CQ and see what we can get out of it. All right. So there we are, inverted L. Uh, in the main, you should get an impedance of around about 50 ohms, 30 to 60, 30 to 80. If it's an exceptional inverted L and it's very high, in other words, you're going up high before you're going along. Sometimes that can muck it up and you can get, I once had an impedance of over 100 ohms, which was my SWR was greater than two to one. Which annoyed the living daylight out of me. But um, eh, whatever, there's so many variables in this game, isn't there? From the number of radials, the amount of radials, how long they are, how short they are and everything else. This is on seven foot long and I think you'll find it will still work. All right, just before I close off, we've got a deal running on the Expedition. 
for the next couple of three weeks. So if you're watching this in years, years to come time, ignore, right? But if you're watching this in June 2025, there's a free shipping deal on the Expedition, the one I've just been toying with. All right, so grab me sell that. Free shipping anywhere in the world, so you won't pay your tariffs, nothing. $2.99, it's yours. I'll see you all soon. Enjoy your radio, and bye for now.